Howdy Commander, it's Echo here. Today we're going to discuss how you can minimize your credit losses in AI and maybe even turn a bit of a profit. Why are we talking about this today? Well, a lot of us have been playing quite a bit of AI games lately, largely due to the Bureau projects. And as we get later and later into these Bureau projects, particularly the three legendary ones, these tend to be games of rather high tier, you know, sixes and sevens. And at these tiers, in AI especially, you run the risk of losing quite a few credits. Now, people are playing these Bureau games in AI because the daily wins require a win. And you can pound your head against the game for 15 minutes in standard mode and not even guarantee get the win. Or you could play for like four to six minutes in AI and pretty much guarantee the win. So that's why a lot of people are using AI as a go-to for getting these daily win bonuses in the Bureau projects. Now, this is problematic to do in AI at these higher tiers because the earning potential in AI is dramatically reduced, but the service cost is still largely the same. So you've got less coming in, but more or just about as much going out for the service costs. So this causes you to have a bit of a mismatch and decreases your earning potential and often leads to credit losses, particularly in like tier 6 tech tree and especially tier 7 tech tree. So today we are going to talk a bit about what you can do to kind of minimize those losses and hopefully even turn a profit. This can start with ship selection. A lot of these Bureau Project games that we're playing say like any tier 6 or any tier 7 type ship. And if that is the case, definitely try to pick a ship that's a premium because the service cost is reduced on those premiums. Sure, your earning potential isn't getting any better, but at least you can mitigate some of that service cost. Uh, also try to select a ship that has smoke screens, and we'll talk about a bit more why you want to choose that later. Uh, choose ships that are rapid firing. It's all about DPM. It's a damage race in AI, so you want to try to get as much DPM as you can. Choose ships that have torpedoes and have a lot of rapid rotating turrets, so you can kind of shift your targets really rapidly. Uh, also... For those of you that have premium accounts and can be running two Bureau Projects at once, try to double up on your Bureau Projects. This exchange right here is awesome. Check this out. If you're in a Charles Martel, do not give your broadside to a hipper. Standard or AI. So try, as I was saying, try to set up your Bureau Projects to be doing double duty. For example, this game here, I had to have a hipper for one project and then another project said any tier 7. So this match is doing double duty for me. But often you can't pick the ship, especially in these later stages. It forces you to have one particular ship. So when that's the case, uh, you can increase your credit earning potential and minimize your losses by selecting a maximum offensive output commander. Even if this commander isn't fully leveled, often just having the offensive skills selected can make the difference of turning a bit of profit or at least minimizing your losses. For example, on this one, I had to take the hip route and I put Von Mueller on. Even though I would normally, in standard mode, run this boat with Luchins, I'm more comfortable with him. Because it's AI, I flipped to Von Mueller and that helps my you know, DPM with the guns, torque DPM, etc. So you, uh, you got a higher damage potential. Flubbed that first round of torps on a Gneisenau. now. Uh, in a standard mode, that play might have worked. He might not have anticipated those torps, but we swing the rear around and we can get the uh, starboard side torps on him. Works out pretty well here. So in the game, there's a couple things you can do to maximize your earning potential and minimize your losses. You can stay centralized, so that way you've always got targets. Uh, targets tend to die pretty quick in AI, so if you're in the center of the map, you can often flip from one target to the next to the next really quickly as they die off. Uh, shoot at a target until your damage starts to drop off, especially if you're using HE. Uh, then either switch targets or switch to the AP. Stay out of the caps. Let the AI get into those caps and then shoot the AI so you can get those green ribbons. Those green ribbons definitely help with your credit earning. Uh, I don't normally advocate this in standard mode, but in AI it can be beneficial to kind of hold your shots occasionally and then do a bit of kill stealing. If you notice the target is getting low, maybe it's got a fire on it or whatever, maybe a couple people are shooting at it, hold your shot, hold your shot, hold your shot. Okay, now this next volley will definitely kill it. Blam, get that kill ribbon. Helps out a lot. You can also kind of shoot your turrets sequentially. I mentioned this in my Dakadak Lana video, but 
If you've got a ship with a lot of turrets, you can kind of hold the right trigger and shoot them sequentially rather than in one volley. Uh, and also you can try to get fire ribbons and have those fire ticks or flood ticks as well to more easily secure those kill ribbons. Uh, you can also, if you're in a destroyer especially, or even fast cruisers, the Brits come to mind, they're on a lot of these bureau projects. Uh, you can set up YOLO torps, uh, you can kind of smoke up, draw the enemy in towards you, and then if you're in a DD with a speed boost, especially this works well, kick the speed boost on when the battleship is within like three kilometers of you, come out of your smoke, haul an ass, and set up that YOLO torp, blammo, get like 80,000 damage. And lastly, we need to talk about target selection. You need to be picking the correct targets to maximize your per shell or per volley credit earning. Uh, and this starts, of course, by shooting the destroyers. So at any given tier, your destroyers are going to be worth the most credits per damage dealt. So target first the destroyers, then the cruisers, then the battleships. And obviously, if any of these ships are in a cap, prioritize the ones that are in a cap versus the ones that are out. Uh, and then also, especially if you have ships that are above you in tier, try to target those because doing damage to an up-tiered ship uh, grants you a little bit of a boost to your credits as well. So obviously, like if you're looking at targets, shoot the up-tier DDs first and the bottom-tier battleships last and kind of fill it in from there. Well, hopefully that was a quick one for you. Hopefully you can take some tidbits away to kind of minimize your credit losses in AI. A lot of us are playing three, four, five, six AI games a day. And you can see here on the economy tab in a tier seven tech tree ship, we still walked away with 20,000 credits, no losses. Well, let me know in the comments below if you've got any additional tips and tricks for reducing your AI credit loss, especially in these bureau project games. Thanks an awful lot for listening, everyone. I really appreciate it. And as always, stay salty, commanders.